If you would like to put your photograph inside of this magazine template, this is how you do it. Here's my photo that I took of myself, and I need to touch it up a little bit. I'm using Camera Raw, but it's just like Lightroom. I'm gonna take the shadows out a little bit so I can lighten up the background. I'm gonna bring the blacks in to darken some areas up. I'm gonna take the highlights out to deepen the colors on my face. I'm gonna take the contrast out so my face isn't as harsh from the contrast. I'll bring the shadows out just a little bit more and then maybe take the exposure back. I'm gonna take the highlights out just a little bit to lighten up my face. Let's bring the blacks in more to darken the image. We can soften the photo by taking the texture to the left a little bit. That looks nice. Let's bring the blacks in just a little bit more to darken it, give it some more depth. Now, if I take the whites out, it makes my face look a little more natural and realistic. And then press open. Now take the image and do a Command A to select all, Command C to copy, open up the magazine cover, click on the background layer, and do a Command V to vaste it in. I say vaste instead of paste because it starts with a V. Now the image might be really big. I'm gonna zoom out. Do a Command T to transform, and then drag the corner up. Let's zoom in. And I'm gonna drag it up until it's at the bottom of the magazine. The right side over here doesn't fit, but that's okay. Let's press return. So I wanna get my head to go over the word photograph. On layer one, I'm gonna do a Command J. Command J duplicates a layer. I say duplicate because it's Command J and bring it over the layer copy so we don't see it anymore. Then I'm gonna go over to the Properties panel and click on Remove Background. Look how beautiful that looks, right? But we still can't see the copy that's right here where it says the portrait. So what we can do is click on the Copy layer, get the Lasso tool, select around that area, do a Command-J, to duplicate that selection and bring it to the top of the layers panel and then click on the new photo and there we go. Now this area right here on my shirt is in the way of the lettering. So let me turn it off for a second. Let's click on this layer. Make sure you're on the thumbnail. Let's get the lasso tool again. Let's select the logo here do an edit, content aware fill. This might not be perfect, but it looks pretty good so far. Let's click OK. Command D to deselect. There are a few different ways to fix the shirt area. We could use the clone stamp tool, or since we're gonna have a really big spot here with just words, we can get the foreground color, click on that. That will bring up the color picker, and then use the eyedropper, to click on a color that's in the middle of the shirt here, click OK, get a soft round brush, and just brush over the area in here where that title's gonna be. And let's click on the copy again, there we go. So if you'd like to do that and submit it too, that's up to you. You don't get extra points, but it's fun to work on type with images to get used to it because you're gonna be doing this later on in your career.